So. Hi, I'm Adam Carter. I'm a principal at the Employment Law Group here in Washington. We're a, a 12 lawyer a whistleblower firm, a mid sized firm here in Washington, D.C. And we used uh, Craig Lucy and, um, and his group to represent us in our, um, in our lease extension in, with our landlord here in, in Washington. We're located on Farragut Square in a building called the Bronner Building up on the ninth floor. And when we started, we were in a, um, we were well along into a 10 year lease here and um, needed to find some, some uh, representation. And so we, uh, we found Craig. Uh, it's a funny story, I had just come back from a uh, summer vacation. I had a water skiing accident and I'd, I'd hurt my leg. I'd known Craig, uh, my, my sister and his wife are childhood friends. And, and uh, Craig saw me, took pity on me, and uh, told me that I needed to take more vitamins. Well, sure enough, uh, vitamins appeared later on in the afternoon, and and uh, and and then I found out that that Craig was a was a tenant broker, and uh, and he uh, uh, came in and helped me and my partners figure out what was the solution to our multi faceted problem that we had, um, which was that we wanted to pay less rent, we had needs with a growing firm and we wanted to um, solve some of those needs. Uh, we wanted to make our space more user friendly. Um, and we needed some conference space and we, uh, we wanted, of course, to, to lower our rent and our operating expenses. What we did, just to give you an idea, you come off of our elevator and we put in these um, plasma monitors. This used to be our entrance to our, our reception area, but we closed all this off and sent our, um, our witnesses and our customers, our clients, uh, down here this way. Interestingly, too, we are a disability law firm, and we had a very narrow, um, a very narrow uh, men's room door, uh, which was not ADA compliant. There is an ADA compliant bathroom in the building, but what we did to solve that problem was we built. This, uh, we took this space over, which was a, um, uh, an old administrative conference room, and we turned this into an ADA compliant bathroom, as well as, uh, because of the new Fair Labor Standards Act, there's a, a, a new requirement to have um, privacy rooms for nursing mothers, and we have a number of, of um, uh, women on our staff who are, who are uh, having, who have children and uh, who are nursing. And so we've had this uh, privacy room built, and it's a really great uh, thing for our staff. We also have this small administrative space, which we've um, uh, built out. I won't bore you with that. And then we built this reception area. This is um, how our, firm, our, our clients and our visitors come and see us. They're welcomed here into this reception area. Here's our signage. And we built this reception space. And we had a need. We had a need for uh, a much bigger conference room, and so we built this conference room here. Uh, Craig indeed uh, helped us. Uh, he got into uh, our business and found out what we do. We represent whistleblowers uh, pursuant to the Dodd Frank Act and uh, Keytam whistleblowers, and so we named our conference rooms after these le this piece of legislation. And here is uh, a large conference room that we built. We got modular furniture. We built uh, bench seating. We can fit 41, 50 people in here for a brown bag lunch. We got a smart board, video conferencing equipment. We can have moot court, um, moot court sessions. We can change the layout of this for, um, for uh, mock trials. There's also a pantry area behind this area. and. So meetings do not have to be disturbed when lunch arrives. We have this barn door uh, system to bring food and coffee in uh, without interrupting the meeting. So it's a very nice, uh, nice arrangement. All of this was done, I should mention, because we interviewed some of the top architects in town. We, um, we, they were law firm architects. We interviewed, we saw other space. Craig took me around to to teach me about commercial real estate in Washington, and I felt like I got a great education in what I was uh, needing to understand. 
And then after meeting those architects, we took the best of their ideas. And I, uh, I need to say it, but Craig basically, on the back of a, of a piece of paper, uh, did the architectural plans that you're seeing here. And we phased the construction and worked with the landlord to do all of the construction in-house um, and uh, while we were in place on weekends and, um, and, uh, and with minimal uh, disruption to us and to our subtenants. And then just finishing the tour, um, this was additional office space that we turned into another large, equally large uh, size conference room. We haven't yet got the smart board, but that's coming. Um, and this is a windowed. And we also made sure that this was soundproofed, uh, very, very good soundproofing on uh, this, this wall. As any, anybody in a law firm knows, conference rooms need to, be, um, need to be soundproofed very, very well. And Craig advised us on that as well. And then we have a, a third little uh, smaller conference room here. One of the issues that I was uh, particularly concerned about was that I I'm friends with my landlord and I wanted to remain friends with him and, um, and, uh, and indeed was worried about a contentious uh, uh, relationship uh, ensuing. And, uh, and one, of the, one of the real great strengths of, of Craig was that he came into the situation, knew that about me and, and the landlord, and he was able to be a buffer between me and the landlord and was able to help negotiate a tremendous uh, lease extension, all of this construction, uh, the phasing of it, and, the, and the, the, the natural give and take that comes with uh, any relationship with the landlord uh, in, a, in a project of that magnitude. And indeed, the relationship with the landlord has never been uh, stronger. Uh, indeed, you know, the landlord uh, uh, c comes to us for uh, advice and we uh, we have a great relationship with the landlord as well and have and have uh, have recommended others to come into the building our space is uh, is uh, something of a, a showpiece for the building and uh, it's a it's a very very helpful and good business relationship that we have with us one more thing I want to I want to add after touring around town and seeing that um, I was my partners and I were in a unique position where, let us say you knew you were going to be in business with the same people for the next 30 years. Wouldn't you want to buy something? And it was attractive to me to think about that. And Craig helped us go around town. We looked at the office condo option. We looked at financing options. We looked at uh, uh, lease to purchase options. And my, my fellow um, uh, principles in the firm were not sold on the idea of, of owning a uh, piece of property. That said, we mentioned that as a, a desire of ours uh, as businessmen uh, that we would one day want to be invested in, in real estate and that we were attracted by that, by that option. And indeed the relationship with the landlord uh, has been uh, so uh, favorable that we were even uh, we were even told of opportunities that the landlord has for uh, investing in projects that they have, investments, funds, and, and the like. So again, the relationship has, um, has uh, improved uh, and, and uh, been maintained such to the point that um, wh when, when we're in a position to be able to invest in real estate, we have a, an outlet to be able to do that. One other thing that I should point out, we had a very, if you look at the bulkhead here, wrapping around this column, we had this very small, it was on the other side of that, a bulkhead, we had a very small kitchen for an entire floor in a downtown office building. And we needed room to have office parties and uh, space where we could spread out food uh, and also have a combination workroom. And uh, Craig had the great idea of um, taking out the walls, we had to keep this uh, load-bearing column, but taking out the walls and merging and combining a workroom into a sort of a Starbucks cafe kind of um, uh, uh, lunchroom and uh, area. We have low, uh, below-counter refrigerator 
a dishwasher, storage space, and on the other side, we have uh, another refrigerator and a freezer. ADA compliant, low level um, uh, counter, and then these uh, high, we were able to get these high uh, chairs. Another way that we've been able to make our office space more efficient is to put our uh, our cabinets and our supplies and other things in the hallways. This, since clients are not uh, coming to this part of the office, we don't really care about how it looks uh, in terms of presentation. Um, and so we uh, we have our files and our supplies all out in the hallway.